Welcome back to my channel. It is Candace with a K here where I normally talk books, beauty, and kicks. Today I'm giving my review of a thriller that you are going to want to read, okay? You're going to want to read it right now. Like stop everything you're doing. Whatever you are currently reading, put that to the side and pick up Daisy Darker by Alice Finney. The book is crazy. That's it. <laughs> this was actually a book club book that I probably would not have picked up otherwise, but I'm so glad that it was recommended to us and I'm so glad that we read it because it was actually crazy. I have never read any of other any of the other Alex Finney books, so I can't give any recommendations on her as an overall author, but she for sure has me interested. I'm thinking about picking up the rest. And so let's get into Daisy Darker. Here is the book synopsis and then I'm going to get into my review. Daisy Darker was born with a broken heart. Now, after years of avoiding each other, Daisy Darker's entire family is assembling for Nana's 80th birthday party in her crumbling Gothic house on a tiny tidal island. The family arrives, each of them harboring secrets. When the tide comes in, they will be cut off from the rest of the world for eight hours. But at the stroke of midnight, as a storm rages, Nana is found dead. And an hour later, the next family member follows. Trapped on an island where someone is killing them one by one, the Darkers must reckon with their present mystery as well as their past secrets before the tide goes out and all is revealed. Crazy. This book was, let's see, it was released last August. So it's been around for a minute, but it is just, it's this is like quintessential mystery so if you have yet to read the book go ahead and read it next that is coming is going to be full of spoilers i don't want to spoil the book for you so after you finish reading it come back if you've already read it stay tuned let's get into it initially as you're reading the book you're wondering why does nana live in this house on an island where when the tide is high you can't leave Seems real weird already, right? Because it's just like the quintessential mystery setting. Because like, what, who or why or what? <laughs> what reason would you want to be stuck in a house for eight hours when you're just coming to visit for a minute? What we don't learn until much later in the book is that Daisy Darker is... Or we're not going that far. Let's back, 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 back. Daisy Darker is Nana's favorite grandchild clearly because she has written the daisy darker series behind her so nana has been able to thrive off of this children's series based off of daisy darker it's daisy darker and then there's oh, i forget all their names there's three siblings the dad the mom and then the great grandchild or what would be the grandchild to one of the siblings so all in all there's about seven people attending said party eight if we include the neighbor okay or the their childhood friend when we unravel it all daisy darker is essentially telling the story they've crafted this intricate plan to kill off all of the family members because of the family secret it's just so good. But we find out at the end of the book, we're just getting there. Let's just get there so that we could work backwards or work forward or whatever. Daisy was killed by her siblings. That's just the, that's the plain, plain and simple story. Daisy was killed by her siblings. They had went out when they shouldn't have went out. Daisy hopped in the car because she was the younger sibling who wanted to kick it with her older siblings. They thought because of her heart condition, her heart stopped. And instead of calling mom and dad to say, mom and dad, there's something wrong with Daisy. We should go to the hospital. They threw Daisy over the cliff. But <laughs> as Daisy was being thrown over the cliff, she came back to life. And so she, Daisy, knew that her siblings and her neighbor killed her. But instead, they, they her siblings came up with this lie, essentially, that 
you know, something happened. They eventually told their parents and their parents still didn't do anything about it. And so Nana took it into her own hands and said, well, y'all wronged my baby girl. All of y'all got to go. And so the way it unravels is that at the strike of midnight, Nana is found dead at the bottom of the stairs. Meanwhile, the narrator of this story is Daisy. So as you're reading it, you're thinking Daisy is still alive. Daisy been dead, but she's the narrator. So Nana pops up dead. So we're, everybody's like confused, like who's been in the house? How to like, what, what? Then I think after Nana died, I think it was the dad. And mind you, it, this book is just so good. Mind you, as everything is, there's riddles. And there was a riddle before they all sat down for each member of the family, kind of talking about how bad of a person they were. Um, and so the, I think the dad goes next. And as the people are dying, someone who we come to find out later at the end of the book is crossing them off. Cause, and so everybody is on edge because they know, okay, I'm next in the riddle. I'm going to be the next one to die. So they just go through it. And it's like, at one point, we think the dog is dead. <laughs> at one point, we think the a grandchild is dead. Um, and then the sisters, the neighbor, the, like everybody is just getting killed off one by one. And it was really to avenge Daisy's death. And at the end of it, I wasn't mad. So at the end, how it all unfolds is that Nana knows how to essentially make her heart stop and start. They're kind of like playing paranormal, playing with ghosts. So Daisy is like a ghost that hasn't been able to cross over to the afterlife or they don't get deep into that. But essentially the Nana always felt her presence. The grandchild always felt her presence. They were able to communicate, but Daisy couldn't connect or communicate with any other member of the family. I don't know. Nonetheless, I gave this book four stars, really four and a half. I didn't give it five only because it's not in my ministry to give fives regularly. And in hindsight, I might give it a five once I sit with all of the books that I read this year. But as of right now, it is a four and a half. I think it's excellently written. I think the story is so freaking captivating. I've also been trying to envision what it would look like if it were to be in a film or in some other kind of capacity. And I can't really see it yet. Not to say it can't happen because if it's executed well, it'd be fantastic. Um, but I will highly recommend it. If you can get your hands on it, go get it from your local library. I have the Amazon link down below. You can get it off of Amazon as well. Um, but pick it up because I think you'll enjoy it. If you've read this book, please tell me your thoughts down below because I think it was chef's kiss. Alrighty, so I'm Candace of the K where I like to read books. I like to talk about kicks and I also like to talk about beauty. And I need you to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.